summer has finally arrived on PEI, and Anne and Gilbert aren't the only ones with romance on their minds. It's dating season, and if you've been looking for love in all the wrong places, we're here to help. We've asked two 27-year-olds, Emo Zabamwa, an IT specialist, and Shayna Monahan, a nurse, to suggest the best places on PEI to find love. And no, that doesn't include bars. You can't have meaningful conversations over all that noise, Abamwa says. And that person you meet at the bar is not always the same person in the light of day. People would not think of going to church as a place where you could find love, Emo Zabamwa. It's all fun and games to have fun and drink but you may get to know them and have none of the same interests, Monahan says. I don't think a basis of a decent relationship would be that you both like to drink, both agree you can find love almost anywhere, and it often happens when you're not looking for it, but here are seven places where you could find the right person, Emo Zabamwa lifts weights at his CrossFit gym. He says the gym is a good place to meet a significant other. WOD Tography at the gym. Gym is not only a good place to meet someone, it's also a good place to see if you're compatible, and not always for the reasons you might think. Sure, it's an easy way to tell if there is a physical attraction, especially when you're both sweaty and sucking air. But gyms can also show you how a potential love interest might handle themselves under stress. CrossFit, for instance, can be a high-intensive kind of workout, Abamwa says. You can see how somebody is able to handle a difficult situation, nothing like a few burpees to put things in perspective. Everyone is usually in a good mood at a wedding. Shuttershock, at a wedding we are not necessarily talking about the movie Wedding Crashers here. But there's no denying weddings are a place where love is in the air, it's a happy environment. People usually aren't cranky at weddings, Monahan said. There will be plenty on PEI this summer. Try to get yourself an invitation then learn to dance to Footloose, and wait for just the right time to join the conga line. The farmer's market is a good place to find someone with similar food interests, Abamwa says. Shane Ross, CBC, at the farmer's market or grocery store If you do end up going on a date, at some point you'll be dining out together and probably cooking together. You're going to want to know what that person likes to eat. If they're at the farmer's market, chances are their tastes go beyond Pop-Tarts and Cap'n Crunch. There are a lot of people that would go there who are interested in trying different kinds of foods, Abamwa said. As for the grocery store, Abamwa recommends going in the evening, and look for someone carrying a basket as opposed to pushing a grocery cart, that's a strong indication that they're single. Shayna Monahan and her boyfriend Jared Kelly have been together for more than a year. Shayna Monahan, Facebook, on a rec sports team joining a softball team is one way to get to first base. At the very least, it's a great way to expand your social circle, Monahan says. You meet friends, then you meet their friends, and then, well, who knows, if you happen to meet someone where there's a mutual romantic interest, then great, the Charlottetown Sport and Social Club is a good place to start, she says, there are lots of activities, volleyball and dodgeball, for example, and groups often go out afterward for food and drinks. At a festival this could be anything from music festivals, where you're outdoors swaying to the music in sandals and sunglasses, or wine festivals, where you're dressed to the nine sipping Pinot Noir. My hand said a festival is also a good place to find someone with a common interest, if you want to learn to play the fiddle, well you could go to a fiddle festival and then you know people there like to play fiddles, and if you don't like the fiddle, you know where not to go. At a live theater performance how do you meet someone when the ushers are shushing you during Jesus Christ Superstar? That's what the intermission is for, Abamwa said, if you're sitting beside somebody who you don't know, that's a good opportunity for you to discuss about what you're watching or where they're from, their background, get to know the person and make some sort of first impression and then after the show you also have that opportunity to mingle, lots of relationships start at work, but it may not be best to date the person in the next cubicle. Shuttershock at where you spend at least 8 hours a day there, after all. And yours wouldn't be the first relationship to get its start in the boardroom.
but you may want to stay away from the person in the next cubicle, Monahan said. These relationships tend to work better in larger organizations, with many floors and departments. I personally wouldn't want to work beside someone who I'm dating, because at the end of the day what the heck are you going to talk about? If you talk all day and you see them, all day you don't want to see them after work, at church that's right, church, a lot of times people would not think of going to church as a place where you could find love but there are a lot of single people in churches who are looking, Abam was said. He said churches that offer services in the evening, such as Center Point Church at Holland College, are particularly appealing. Young people prefer to go to church in the evening as opposed to the morning. Of course, if none of these places work, you could always try Tinder, which is where Monahan met her boyfriend. More PEI News